Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a copper coloured steampunk style Venetian mask. To start with I'm going to use this Venetian mask bought off the internet. I'm going to put fake rivets all around the mask. I'm using some plastic bumper stops which have got sticky backs and will stick straight to the mask. Here's the mask with plastic rivets glued in place. I have these magnifying lenses designed for clipping to the side of glasses frames. I'm going to drill a hole in the side of the eye and mount these so they slot over the eye socket. Here are the magnifying lenses, just held in place with a nut for now. Once I've painted the mask I'll add a bit of glue to put these firmly in place. I next want to mount some mesh behind the eyes. This is just uh, an oven mat used in cooking. So simply put the mesh behind the eye socket and then draw around using a pen to mark out the shape. Then you need to cut a piece slightly bigger than the actual eye to stick on the back of the eye socket. Here's the inside of the mask showing the mesh glued into place. The next step is to paint the mask. So first I'm going to cover it in a plastic primer. The next step is to use some of this coarse stone texture paint to roughen up the plastic surface. I've tried to keep stone effect to the low points and avoid the high points because I want those to be slightly smoother and slightly shinier. The next step is to cover the whole mask with this fine texture paint which will roughen up the surface. The next step is to spray the whole mask a copper colour. The next step is to paint a brown wash over the top of the mask. I need to leave this to dry before I dry brush the whole thing a copper colour. The next step is to dry brush over the top of the wash. Here's the mask after dry brushing. I'm now going to paint the mesh eye sockets a brass colour. I now want to add some verdigris, copper oxidisation. So I'm going to mix this by mixing emerald green and white paints together and dotting this at low points and points where liquid would gather around the mask. I've added touches of verdigris and a slightly darker green colour to accentuate it. I'm now going to use a green wash over the top of this to add further depth. Here's the mask after the green wash has been put over the verdigris sections. I've remounted the eye lenses which can be moved out of the way as required. And here's the finished mask.